are all set and they on their journey accidental tourists gave away a couple of links and the starter said go lady legend is right there dive captain extra vargent is just a length off the first call leading fast hot on the trail just two and a half lengths off rocket girl can't get in as wide in the early stages Susie Wu beat it, then comes Mr. Minister, twice as smart, three quarters of the way back, Accidental Tourist, Song of the Forest around them, Zadora towards the back end, 600 to go, Dive Captain, Red Sleeves and Cap, tracked by Lady Legend, Rocket Girls on the right, Extra Vargin, Susie Wu, leading fast in the yellow towards the inside, beat it, twice as smart, Coming to the 400 meter marker, Dive Captain. Our extra Vargent now becomes a big runner. Leading fast is under pressure, Susie Wu. Extra Vargent, Lady Legends on the inside, and Dive Captain won't go away. Dive Captain, Extra Vargent. Dive Captain's pulling out more the last hundred. Dive Captain from Extra Vargent as they go to the line. Dive Captain won at Extra Vargent, Lady Legend, Susie Wu, and twice as smart. So the Dean Canamea stable, they've been waiting for the victory and the Captain L dive. Captain Keegan Lamello kept her going because Extra Vargent was staying on well, moved up to attack, but dive Captain pulled out that little bit extra. Extra Vargent second. Susie Wu gets third. Lady Legend fourth and twice as smart running on at the business end. Mr. Minister and leading fast came under pressure. 300 meters to go, Dive Captain had the lead, Extra Vargent moved right alongside and at one stage looked like she'd go on by, but Dive Captain knuckled down. Susie Wu's four off the right, twice as smart as running on late, and Lady Legend's the inner, but the Red Silks of Fred Crabier, bred by the Cloverflay stud, Dean Canamea, Keegan DeMello, and number six, Dive Captain, they fight on courageously in race nine. Back to the studio. The lucky last has gone the way of the Dean Canamayo trained number six dive captain for Keegan DeMillo, Fred Crabier. And uh, Dean's been uh, boxing about all day. He's had horses run very well. And uh, you've been in the place money most of the day, Dean, and they've been running well, the young, young horses. But uh, you're in the winner's enclosure with dive captain. Congratulations. Yeah, Warren, thank you very much. Thank you. This also, I, it was, it's lovely to, I always go and stand in the, in, the, in the winner's area to try and get a few tips and, and hints and, you know, for the interviews. And I loved your chirp with uh, Keegan. He thought he was balmy going off to the front with uh, such a heavy weight, but it's paid off. Well, I thought he was brave, you know, to go <laughs> 62. But nevertheless, you know, if, if, I think you quite correctly did mention the pre-race that if the finish dropped in the weights and if she runs to her very best, yes. She's not out of it, you know. Absolutely. She's got to be no, she, She's run well. So Keegan, I mean, that took uh, took a lot of guts to take the filly to the front of 62. Although the weights are compressed and things like it. So, but well done to to to, to Fred Cravier and Emma and the whole team and things like it. So, uh, my, my whole stable. And it's, it's been a long day, as you say. The babies, you know, they they they, they also been improving, and um, so they're coming along. But um, I'm pleased for Fred, you know. We actually, it's, it's, you know, since we've come back from the log back, uh, uh, lockdown, it's. It, I wouldn't say we've really been firing, but the horses are there and they're getting there, you know. Absolutely. So, so I'm very, I'm very pleased for everyone. What's nice about this filly, Dean? Uh, you know, she's fought them off because they were, they were coming left, right, and they got into a bit of a scrap. She showed determination, she showed guts, and a driving ride, and she's she's fended them off well, which is so encouraging. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, she t tried very hard, and, and Keegan will tell you more about that. But uh, I think it was a very smart and clever ride. Well done. Lovely chatting to you. Good Thank day you. at the office. Well Th done. Thanks, Warren. Thank you. Let's chat to Keegan. He's going to tell us more. Yeah, lovely, Keegan. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, as, uh, you tell us more because Dean and I were just having a little bit of a banter about you going off to the front with the top weight. It was brave, and it's paid off. Congratulations. Yeah, look, sometimes you've got to take, your, take it into, in, into, your, into your own hands, and uh, Mr. Kaname um, leaves it up to me. And her best runs have been from going forward. And, uh, yeah, look, it, it's the way the weights are, are so compressed, uh, I'd... Uh, I could take the chance today, but uh, yeah, all credit to the filly, full of guts, and uh, she she deserves another winner. She, she like I said, she's been highly 
She's been penalised quite highly, and uh, it's just nice that she, she can win, if, uh, win another one. They were coming, and uh, you kept her rolling, which was good, and which shows guts. You know, you need a horse where you can have the smallest specimen in the world, but with a great heart. And she seems to have heart because she fought them off nicely. Yes, look, um, when, when um, Sean moved up on my outside, I, I saw her move up on my inside. And, um, yeah, when I, when I went for her, uh, she, she really did give it to me. I'm just really grateful to be back in the winner's box. It's been quite a tough day at the office with the seconds and uh, yeah but it's just nice that the babies are running well um, unfortunately they were a bit green today still but um, they'll be back to fight another day. Well done, it's been a good day as you say you've been boxing on but uh, a winner in, uh, in the tank, nothing wrong with that and of course for a, a trainer like Dean Kanemeyer who supported you through thick and thin well done to the whole team. Yes, yeah, just a big thank you to Mr Kanemeyer for sticking um, through all the good and bad times and uh, yeah it's what we need, we need the support and I'm just really grateful for that and uh, to Mr Krabia I'm truly grateful. Thank you very much for another opportunity, and um, yeah, I hope to be back. Well done. Thank you. Lovely chatting to Keegan DeMillo. Dive captain. She's recorded her second career win and uh, her first on the poly. She's won a good race, and she uh, got into the scrap, as we said, and she fended them off, and she's won nicely. Dean's uh, had a nice day. His horses have been there and thereabouts. Keegan DeMillo's driven this horse home beautifully, and extra vargent or extravagant. Tony Rivlin's horse has run second. So 6 4. Nine and one, those are the numbers that you're going to need for the lucky last. It's been a wonderful day. It's, as I said earlier, it's been a long day since the Vodacom Durban July Gallops 2020. Next uh, on the weekend is the KZN Breeders Race Meeting, and the weekend after is the long awaited Vodacom Durban July, which we can't wait for. But it's been a wonderful day here at Hollywood Bets Gravel from the entire production team. Get home safely. Thanks very much. Stay safe.